Let's round up. <laughs> you you die. Do you think about death? Yeah. Yes. I'm old now. <coughs> you know. But then there's a lovely song by Gretchen Peters. There's a wonderful line in it that says, "When you are old, death no longer makes you weep." You don't worry about death as much as you get older than you did when you because you were always worried about your mother and father dying. Do you remember that? Mm. But now, no, get older. You. There's a kind of acceptance. In case you're wondering what I'm doing here. Believe me, it's a question I've often asked myself. I, I, don't, I don't trust you. I don't trust any show that asks me back twice. <laughs> don't. I, mean, I was against it. And look at this silly mind. I mean, really. I mean, look at that. When you are old and tired and grey. Although the BBC wasn't entirely sure it wanted to do it, we raised a million pounds. And in intervening years, we've raised, which is public, have raised and given us almost 700 million pounds. That's extraordinary. Well, that, that represents well or well, four and a quarter million more than we made on the night this time last year. Four and a quarter million pounds. So I think so. Heaven knows. Heaven alone knows what the total is going to be in the next couple of months. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Children in Need 2011. You still be the same to me. A comfort. Hello, Terry Wogan here outside the hollow portals of the BBC to tell you what's on Wogan. Well, it's live and there's guests and like there's going to be long. to risk life and limb. Well, you see, it's, it's showbiz, Terry. It is, isn't it? Like, this is very exciting. You're slipping into a Welsh I'm, accent there. I'm going into a sort of little <laughs> well, Irish touch there. <laughs> Natasha and Sarah. Or as we know them, The Little Mermaid and Dr. Death. This pair will kill you. And a gentle yeah, thing. they don't want to win this. Ah, sure, it's too expensive. Ah, we're fed up with it. Well, I'm Irish too, don't believe a word of it. The Irish love winning this, they love having it here. Dublin's been throbbing with Euro frenzy. Oh. Well, let's all cheer it together. Gemini, cry baby, for the United Kingdom. Well, I tell you this, we've got the best legs in Europe. What do you call this? <laughs> You've got to give them marks for effort. Look at that. How long did it take to get into that makeup? Always going to have a great chance. And I am going to go down now and collect a fair few quid from Paddy Power, bookmaker and tough accountant to Toffs and Gentry. We'll be the judge of whether you are our friends or not. Just a moment. And we hope that you will have a great party and celebrate all night so, long. Goodbye, pals. And eight points. Everywhere, up and down and around the town. Hurrah for the Cornish floral dog. <laughs> no pressure, though, Peter. No pressure at all. <laughs> I'm in a very difficult position. Here. <laughs> it's another fine day in the land of do as you're told. <laughs> off to, to, you're going off to New York tomorrow, aren't you? Um, the America. other side, yeah, LA, yeah, well, yeah. thank you, Terry. Now everybody knows I'm away, they can come and rob my house. Um, <laughs> what, um, just as a matter of address, as a, as a, as a matter of interest, what, what is your address? Well, I'm is taking all my belongings yeah. with me. I'm taking everything I own with me, and we've got four or five diamond sixes. What are friends for? <laughs> That's right. Okay. Be away! <laughs> what about the booze? Is that important to you? The booze is still important, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, the best way of removing negativity is to laugh and be joyous. So I'm delighted that there's so much laughter in the audience tonight. But no, um, it's a... But just let, just let me, just let me say this. They're laughing at you. They're not laughing with you. Fine. One, two, three, Cindy! It's lucky it's not live. Oh, 
that bit up. Thank goodness, that could be edited, please. <laughs> it's not a custom-made television theatre. In no, fact, no. It's, it used to be the Shepherd's Bush Empire. It's full of all the little alleyways and, and warrens. This is that a whole new look, look is it? <laughs> Yes, yes. Right, you yeah. can see, you see that every expense is spared <laughs> on the distemper. And Very there's old a considerable lack of wall paper. Audio description. A newish service for blind viewers, brightly famous for the accuracy of its scripts. A young, good-looking man with a trendy jacket and tie. His mind like a razor as he prepares to speak. Well, that was a bit of a farce, trying to get in touch with Turkey, but not helped by the extreme foolishness of certain people on the stage. Am I crazed with power, Paul? I think so, yes. You're Does it suit me? Me? Such a nice surprise to find you back on the telly, says David Dawkins of Boroughbridge. I thought you were dead. <laughs> Every year, I signal the start of Christmas dinner by taking my seat opposite Mrs. Wogan and firing a pistol loaded <laughs> with a blank or blank. So, every time I go there, I'm accosted by German commentators who say things like, uh, if you don't like the European Song Contest, <laughs> why do you do it? <laughs> They'd reserve the room I'm taking for you, but... <laughs> you, you somehow redeemed yourself. <laughs> well, I think uh, that's my award this year. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the fabulous Sir Terry Wogan. <laughs> Sir Terry Wogan. The one and only, there will never be another. The will ask, what do you think the meaning of life is? Gosh, what a question. It's an existence. I was born. I'm living. I will die. My life, if you ask me about my life and the meaning of my life, it's been absolutely wonderful.